Okay, good morning. Cataract surgery update. On this Friday, it is the 10th of May. And the clock behind me should say about 12.30 in the morning. On Saturday, Friday morning. Yesterday, I had my hopefully last cataract surgery. And it was kind of a tough day. My last update was last night at some point, just af afternoon for me. And my vision was very, very blurry in this eye, the surgery eye. And I was kind of concerned about it, thinking, oh man, are they going to have to go in and redo something or whatever. But of course, uh, they tell you that it could take days and days and even a week or more before vision becomes really clear, as it should. So I had an early dinner. I didn't eat much. I just eat a little bit after that big McDonald's lunch I had, and it was so delicious. And then I put my guard on. It's uncomfortable to wear it, but it's there so that during the night you don't end up really rubbing your eye. Uh, right now, my eyes kind of all itchy, especially around the corner, but you don't want to get it right on the eyeball, you know, and just start rubbing it like we all can do, because that can easily dislodge that new lens that's in there. So I'll be wearing that for another week or more, and uh, I went to bed kind of feeling kind of down about... Uh, thinking man this is not going to work this is so much blurrier than the first one was uh, I took an oxycodone actually last night because I was having a little bit of pain but I took it mostly just because I wanted to go to sleep and oxycodone is very wonderful for really knocking you out or at least in my case uh, so I don't really remember much after that. I just went right to sleep and woke up and it's been about 10 hours. I woke up about 20 minutes ago and I pulled off the protector this morning and it was all wet inside, all around my eye. It was all kind of, it was all just wet from sweat, I assume. But my vision is so much better now. I can read everything I can see here on my desk. It's still a little bit cloudy and blurry, but nothing like it was yesterday. I'm absolutely amazed at how beautifully clear it is. And now with my good eye, both my eyes look very much the same. And I am just truly, truly blessed. So. This will improve in time, of course. Uh, so I have my, at 7.25 today, I have my first post-op. And then I'll come back a week later, I believe. And have the second and last post-op. Or at least that was the case with my left right eye. But truly, I am just so thrilled. Not because I get to actually have coffee today. <laughs> I couldn't have that today, yesterday. I am just really, really, really blessed to have good eyesight, it appears. And, uh, so anyway, that's, uh, boy, that's where we're at. I slept really good. I kept uh, dreaming and thinking about the surgery, about the fact that... Uh, I I don't remember, I almost don't remember any of being on the operating table. I remember getting on there and getting situated. And you got to lay down with your back, with your head pretty far back. And then I remember them, you know, doing something with this arm. And then the anesthesiologist plugging into the IV was in the back of my hand right there. Same place as it was before. It was, um, seems like the only place to find it. And um, 
And then I, you know, they start covering up your face. They put the big thing in there. It feels like a big wedge that they're jamming in there to hold your eyelid open. And I remember starting to see the light show. And by that time I was getting the anesthesia and I could feel, you just feel this coldness going up your arm, you know. And I got, I felt about half of that. <laughs> and then that was it. I just remember them saying, you're done. We got to get up now. It's over with. And it seems like they were saying it a few times. Like I had been asleep and maybe I had just went out completely. But it appears to have been a total success. I can't believe how, how clear this is. Truly, I am absolutely blessed to get new eyesight, literally new eyesight. So, of course, I have to be careful. I have to take my, start taking my regimen of drops. That's going to go on for a while. And I have to go to another pharmacy and pick up one of the eye drops that my pharmacy couldn't get. And it's going to be kind of expensive. And I'll see if they'll take my medical insurance. If they won't, then I'm just going to have to shell out cash. So I don't want to do that, but whatever I got to do, you know. So, uh, yeah, beautiful weather yesterday. It looks like beautiful weather is going to continue on. Yeah, sunny weather, warmer weather. I turned my heat off even before I went to surgery yesterday, and I'm sitting here in just my t-shirt and um, I am perfectly fine so that's my update and we'll be back we'll take the camera with us I can't film inside the eye place I already asked and they uh, didn't want that to be happening so that's okay but I'll update what uh, my surgeon says later today gives me a green light or whatever it says everything's fine and just follow the follow my big long list of rules for the next uh, couple of weeks and um, everything should be good anyway i'm gonna enjoy another cup of coffee and i just uploaded a video the train yard video the been some time since i've been to the train yard just uploaded that I got some other stuff to start working on and editing, and it's going to be so nice to sit here. I don't need my glasses. Everything is just clear as a bell everywhere I look here in my house. <clears throat> and I can just sit here and edit without my eyes constantly fighting. They were just fighting back and forth. And, uh, you know, I would close this eye and just use one eye, and then I'd get tired of that and then it's like back to blurry and clear and it's like you know just ugh, drove me crazy hated that <clears throat> so I really hope and pray that everybody that needs this surgery can get it because so far for me it's been an absolute life change for me but we'll wait and see and make sure it heals good and everything and uh, We'll start getting out there and having some fun in the great outdoors, get some hiking in, and possibly go find that uh, extra work or some part-time work just to keep busy and earn a little bit of money to put in the bank and all that good stuff. So That's it for now. We'll be back later on with another update. Okay, I am back from my post-op, and it went very, very well, just like the post-op I had after my first eye surgery. So I've got new orders for drops, and they're exactly the same as when I had my first surgery. And um, just, you know, one, three eye drops four times a day. Um, I really hate it, but it's not that big a deal and I've got my new schedule for the post-op and 
I really can see it. <laughs> so my next post-op is going to be on the 17th, one week from today, 8.40 in the morning, and they'll just check it again. And then they checked actually both the eyes today. And then I will have yet another post-op in June, June 26th of 24. That one's late in the afternoon. But that's okay. So, yep. Anyway, the surgeon said everything looked good. They checked my eyes. I got the eye pressure test in both eyes, which I hate. But it didn't go, it wasn't too bad. So, I, um, I'm noticing a lot of twitching going on in this eye today. It's just constantly twitching. And he said that's normal. And I knew it was. I'd had it in this eye too there in the beginning after that surgery I had constant twitching twitching and sometimes it kind of changes the light a little bit depending on the situation so it's not very pleasant but uh, he said it's good it's gonna you know eventually be really good I told him it changed a lot from yesterday afternoon till this morning and he said yep that's perfectly normal so we're in good shape. I eyesight is doing pretty good. So I gotta start another regimen of drops here very soon and then we'll just about be over with them. And I can kind of start to get back to my life here. But uh, for a while we're still gonna be kind of hanging around the house. It's very very nice today. It's supposed to be close to between 80 and 90 degrees for a high temperature today. You see, I've got the kitchen window. I don't don't have anything opened. It's warm enough to have things open, but I don't want it to warm up too much in here. I've got the bathroom or the kitchen window unblinded, so get let some light in here. I turned the heat off yesterday. Now I had it on for a short time this morning, but it didn't really run much. And now it's off, so it'll stay off the rest of the day. So I'll be saving some on the heating bill. So that's where we're at. Looks like it's going to be a total of success with my cataract surgeries on both eyes.